excuse not to do it, and, that and it means no excuse whatsoever under any circumstances. And then it's taken even farther with regards to familial relationships. It is, you can't even let them stand in your way. And I think that's all true. So what if you were beaten? So what if you were mentally and emotionally abused? Those are all superpowers now because you are the type of person that went through that and came out the other side a strong person. You have more resiliency. You are more resourceful than people that have not gone and suffered through adversity and abuse. That's the reality. We are more resilient. We are more emotionally strong, mentally tough. And we can deal with so much. But we have to first let go of the mental crippling crutch that we carry, which is this victim mindset.
And we understand that from a common sense perspective. But somewhere along the line, we have all stopped saying, you're going to make it, you got this. And we've started saying, you're a piece of shit, you're not good enough, why even bother? And when you start your day by saying, I look terrible, I screwed up again yesterday, I hate my life, that's not going to motivate you to change it. And so your sense of feeling like the effort is worth it begins and ends with how encouraging, supportive, and kind you are to yourself. Thank you. 
comes from the amount of soul that has been your burden. And so the ego and our scared selves judge tragedy, or maybe it's not tragedy, maybe it's not as bad. And let us rush away from it. Do not run away from your suffering. Befriend it, appreciate it, embrace it. For there your joy lives. Oh, he's not a big 